and rising since good morning apparently sucks to say <laughs> I got my ass handed to me at work as normal it's Monday 12 I think and I'm on my way home from therapy I got home late woke up threw a hat on rolled out the door and I've been talking to my therapist Jen now that gotta be like six seven fucking months and um like my doctor her and I have a very good rapport and um I don't usually talk about shit that bothers me and I don't say things because I already done fucking walked into a bipolar diagnosis you know because I have OCD they call me bipolar and you know ask questions like do you think you're smarter than everybody do you think you're on a mission here from God do you think you're a prophet do you think you're this and that I'm going no I think you're misdiagnosing me right fucking now like I don't even get road rage like I'm a fucking peach until somebody pisses me off or hurts somebody that I love you know and I think that's pretty normal but so I don't talk about all this shit now that I'm awake and you know have been able to see the game better for what it really is for the last eight nine months now and uh yeah i was talking to her about my psychological testing coming up i said dude i have been walking into the wrong place wrong time doing all kinds of shit my life running around here just not even wanting to be alive and so depressed but you know since I have a bubbly personality and I'm a bartender and a server you know I just bop around being happy so that I can you know make other people happy and feel better about my miserable self and blah 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 said now I want tested in every way for every mental diagnosis because when I open my mouth and I actually tell you some of the shit that I went through and you know clearly I should qualify for every diagnosis by the time I'm done so I want to just go ahead and get fitted because this is just all shit that I saw that I had to do and it was going to really fucking suck. But yeah, the powers that be want to create a pandemic and terrify everybody and tear people's hearts apart with politics and, you know, the super sensitive ones like, you know, star seeds who don't know what the fuck is going on and don't remember what is going on or have started to remember what's going on and have said these things to their doctors and they're getting called crazy like no there's actually an army of medical professionals coming out and scientists and physicists coming out and they're all saying that the fabric of reality is based on zeros and ones just like a video game and um, we started talking about that show Manifest. I said, I've never seen it, but I've seen some spiritually awake people talking about that show. So, I mean, whenever you're watching that show, it seems like they're showing a lot of the truth in it. Just like they are the movie Free Guy. I said, have you ever seen it? She's like, no. I said, well, here's the problem. When people realize that they're putting the truth in front of our faces in, in, in movie form, they're getting called schizos. As soon as people start pointing to specific movies and specific...
specific shows, these doctors know what to fucking call them based off of the shows that they're talking about. I said, do you, I, do you know Supernatural? And she's like, yeah, I've seen a few episodes. I said, please, do me a favor and pretend like you don't know that they ran that show from like 2005 to 2019 right up to COVID and go check out seasons three through seven specifically, but find the horsemen episodes. I said, I drove myself to the nut board because I felt like a door in my brain was cracked open I felt like I had a foot in every other fucking reality out there and it terrified me. I said, I'm fucking hiding in my garage just to be enclosed and alone and I'm fucking just crying because I feel like God's under attack because all of our hearts are under attack. Look at this shit. Look at COVID. Everybody's fucking under attack and I think it's spiritual. I felt like there were angels crying everywhere, Jen. I said I didn't see anything, I wasn't hearing anything, I wasn't fucking hallucinating, but I felt starting the day and that the day that Biden got inaugurated, it was January 20th. For the next eight days, I felt like there were angels crying everywhere, and I was so brutally aware of it and I was so scared and sad and then I'm fucking crying because I feel like why wouldn't if angels are real which obviously they are not in the sense that everybody thinks but if angels are real why would they not be looking down here fucking crying about this shit like and I'm crazy okay I said so that show drove people to the nut ward. And I'm going, oh, fuck. I mean, I guess I see what you mean, guys. There kind of was, like, a whole COVID episode. And, like, no, like, maybe it's just a coincidence. Because in my mind, I'm trying to find and help a little girl. I'm trying to either find the little girl inside of me that is scared. I'm trying to fucking remember something from my childhood there's something fucking going on and if I find or help this little girl if I figure out what the fuck is wrong with me I can help a lot of people because there are a lot of people sitting in the same fucking boat that I'm in I feel it all around me um I said Jen I didn't even realize until I left the nut board that that was the fucking plot line to Stir of Echoes, my best friend. Oh my God. Kelly, have you ever seen Stir of Echoes? I'm like, no, I don't watch creepy shit like that. And she's like, that's the fucking plot line. And I'm going, who the fuck is writing these fucking movies? Literally, I said, Jen, that show, everybody that I was in the nut house with was terrified of that show. They were calling themselves indigos. They were calling themselves psychics. They said that their third eyes were open. They were fucking terrified the horsemen of the apocalypse were here because we're in the war episode too where one normal person's looking at another normal person, say a Democrat and a Republican, and they're fucking thinking the other one's the enemy, but neither of them are the enemy. The fucking assholes out there are the enemy the ones that are rolling religions and politics and they got us all fucked up and people were terrified I'm lost in a stir of echoes so I'm fucking going oh my god these poor people are getting diagnosed schizophrenic because they're looking at movies well thank god I'm not schizophrenic and I'm not looking at like any kind of a movie or anything like I see what they mean but I'm not looking at a movie I was in stir of echoes I am so fucking mad. Now that I know what the fuck is going on here, I am so mad. I said, Jen, did you know that there's a lot of spiritual healers out there and doctors talking about the fact that some people have more than one soul and that could be getting, that could be
be getting people charged up with this disassociative identity disorder, but they don't know. They're not getting proper help. They're not, you know, maybe having a soul lifted off of them if they really needed it. I don't think that's, I don't think that's a great thing. I'm an Indigo 3 and I'm, I would never remove anything, but so Jen, the name that I have associated with my memories and with my job here, now that I absolutely feel like I'm on a mission, I said, I told the doctors I was on a mission to find out what the fuck was wrong with me. And I figured it out. And I'm mad. I said, Jen, this is all pineal gland attacks, literally. I said, they do not want people's pineal glands opening because they don't want you to know what the fuck is going on. And it's okay if you think I'm crazy, but can you imagine your daughter or either of my sons having to sit in my seat or your seat if I'm right? I think that we should all kind of start trying to talk about this stuff collectively. And I'm pretty, pretty upset. I said, have you seen Free Guy? She was like, no. And I said, okay. Well, it's a video game reality, right? This guy doesn't realize, these people don't realize that they're living inside of a video game reality. And they have to put sunglasses on to be able to tell I said have you ever seen that I think it's John Carpenter's They Live movie and she's like no I think it's They Live or They Are I haven't seen it but I caught the highlights I said this movie back in the 80s yet they had to put sunglasses on to see all the fucked up stuff going on and they pulled it from the theaters because it really kind of did a Truman Show thing to people where it sent them off to the nut houses and off to the mental doctors going, I think that's real. I said, now imagine this movie. These characters go into the same Starbucks type place every day. They order the same thing. They, they, they hold their hands up because they work at the bank and they're getting stuck up by people with sunglasses and they don't fucking know. They just think it's normal. I said, and then this, this character starts to wake up and literally it's like he brings a whole new, there's a whole new video game reality brought with, with his awakening. And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, so that looks like real life. That movie made three thirty three hundred thirty million or billion in the box office. I said, oh shit, I'm picking up my kid for lunch. I said, um, all right, to be continued. I gotta feed, I gotta feed child one.